हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीवन टू द डेली न्यूज एनालिसिस ऑफ आर्ड ऑफ जनवरी 2024 सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ए वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू चलिए शुरू करते हैं इंपॉर्टेंट आर्टिकल हिंदी न्यूज पेपर से जो कि यूपीएससी प्रोस्पेक्ट की से इंपॉर्टेंट है तो पहला जो एम एस से सिक्स टू पैसिफाई ट्रकर्स प्रोटेस्टिंग न्यू हीट एंड राउंड लॉ then roll out schedule of three criminal code will be notified by january 26 then free movement regime at myanmar border to end soon entry into india will need visa quality compulsion and india out plan that could impact the maldives <coughs> पहला जो आर्टिकल है एम एच एस सिक्स टू पैसीफाइड ट्रकर्स प्रोटेस्टिंग न्यू हिट एंड रन लॉ एज ट्रांसपोर्टर ट्रांसपोर्टर्स एक्रॉस द कंट्री स्टॉक वर्क टू प्रोटेस्ट द इंक्रीज इन पनिशमेंट इन हिट एंड रन केस इन द येट टू बी इंप्लीमेंटेड भारतीय न्याय संहिता बी एन एस द यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स एम एच ए कन्वीड ए मीटिंग विथ द ऑल इंडिया मोटर Transport Congress on Tuesday. Transporters, including bus and taxi union, have called a nationwide strike from January 1, January 30, to protest Section 106 of BNS, which prescribes a maximum punishment of 10 years in the in case of rash and negligent driving. The government wants wants to clarify that the new laws have not been implemented yet. We would also like to point out that. The decision to invoke Section 106 Clause 2 of the Bharatiya Nyaya Sanghita will be taken only after consultation with the All India Motor Transport Congress. I appeal to the body and transporter to return to work. And Union Home Minister Ajay Bhalla said after the meeting, though the Motor Transport Congress has called off the strike after the meeting, transport bodies in other states would. continuity the strike kultaran singh atwal chairman all india motor transport congress said it is a drivers movement transporter have little to do with it since we are head headquartered in delhi union government called us for a meeting let us see how many drivers are turn up for work on wednesday he said a top government source clarified that if a driver had accidentally hit someone and informed the police on time then he or she would face a lesser punishment of 5 years the duration of sentence sentences in such cases has been had been increased to 10 years because the observation made by the supreme court another government official said whenever an accident takes place the case is always registered against the driver of the heavy vehicle even though the driver of the small vehicle is a fault there are chances of being charged and in some instances the drivers have been leased drivers are an unorganized lot they do not have a leadership since since this impact them all the most they have gone on a strike mr atwal told the hindu he added that the impact of the strike was being felt all over the country especially in the northern states and of uttar pradesh punjab himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir haryana and madhya pradesh and also in west bengal odisha and in southern states there are instances when someone who has caused an accident flees the scene for fear to be being attacked by a crowd in a such cases in persons the persons can move away from the sense scene of crime and call the police if one calls for call the police then will then they will escape harsh punishment the source said section 106 clause 1 of the bns provides for a punishment of 0 to 5 years while section 106 clause 2 provides for a punishment of 0 to 10 years in hit and run cases the supreme court has stated in multiple cases that strict action should be taken against those drivers who recklessly drive vehicles cause accidents resulting in someone's death and then flees the flee the sense in a, if a person immediately reports to a police officer or magistrate about the accident caused by reckless driving 
driving the individual will not be charged under sub section 106 clause 2 next next article is roll out schedule of three new criminal code will be notified by january 26 the date of implementation of three criminal codes that were passed by the parliament in december 2023 will be notified before january 26 a senior government official said on tuesday the official added that it will take nine months to a year for the three three criminal laws to be implemented across the country and a pilot project is all set to be begun in ahmedabad in in the next two months except some areas that have connectivity problem in the next one year 90% area 90% area will have the reach of a new laws the official said the official added that 3000 master trainer will train the police personnel who will work in a pyramid set up pro percolating to each district in the next few months a task force has been constituted under the bureau of police research and development to over see the training the national crime record bureau <coughs> will coordinate the integration of the other wings of the criminal justice system including the incorporate criminal justice system the national automated fingerprint identification system the adjustment alert module and the crime and criminal tracking network and system the official said the uh, inter- integration would result in a faster justice justice system in tune with the new laws chandigarh will be the first to see the integration and implementation of all platforms so the data will stored in cloud the trust is one on scientific in- investigations and to promote the forensic based investigation the official said 900 mobile vans will be sent to 885 districts at, at a cost of 55 rupees 55 lakh rupees each with 25% cost to be borne by the states the entire criminal justice process including the justice judiciary will be will sooner be online the official said the, the official said that home minister amit shah has spoken to the chief minister of all states bearing to on the creation of the post of a separate director of prosecutions in each district all states have welcomed the move this will give the power to challenge acquittal of an accused in any case to the victim they will not be the mercy of the public prosecutor or police the official said the bhartiya naya sangita who is in places the ipc 1860 the bharatiya sakhya which replaces the indian evidence act 1872 and the bharatiya nagrika suraksha sanghita which replaces the criminal crpc 1898 or criminal procedure code were notified in the gazette gazette of india on december 25 2023 the official added that the two cases against the fugitive and those who wanted in terror cases have been registered under the ipc in the past their trial in absentia could be held under the bnss irrespective of when the case was registered the judicial can be held under the new laws many economic offenders sitting in foreign countries take a plea that they had decided they have not been convicted by any court here the official said <laughs> Next article: A free movement regime at Myanmar border to end soon entry into the India will be will need visa. The union government is all set to scrap the free movement regime (FMR) along the Myanmar border. A senior government official said on Tuesday, people living in the border areas will could cross over to India will soon require visas. The official added, India and Myanmar share. And on fence the border and people on either side have familiar. and ethnic ties which which prompted the arrangements in 1970s it was last revived in 2016 the official said that around, that around 3 km of the border will be fenced and a tender will be issued in the new, next few days a survey of border border areas will help of drone has been 
completed amid apprehensions that states such as Nagaland and Mizoram may oppose the move. The official said border security is the center's domain. We may take note of their <coughs> concern, but the final decision is of the union government. We, we are in talks with Myanmar. <coughs> Under the FMR, every member of the Hill Thrive, who is either a citizen of India or a citizen of Myanmar and who resides within 60 km of on either side of the border can cross the border on production uh, for production of the border pass, usually valid for a year and can stay for up to two years, two weeks per visit. The Manipur government has suspended the FMR since 2020 following the COVID-19 pandemic. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh said on September 23, 2023 that he has ordered the Ministry of Home Affairs to cancel the FMR along the India Myanmar border and complete its fencing. He attributed the ongoing ethnic violence in the state to free movement of people from across the border after a military coup in Myanmar in February 2021. Over 40,000 refugees took shelter in Mizoram and around 4,000 refugees are said to have entered in Manipur. The next article is Political Compulsion. <laughs> With the government refusing to extend the deadline of for, for other details of worker under the Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme MGNREGS to be ceded to their job cards beyond December 31, 2023 to enable payment through an other based payment system, the system has now become mandatory element. Alarmingly, the decision would now affect nearly 35% of job card holders for this mode of payment and 12.7% of active workers, so those who have worked at least one day in, love, in the last three financial years, thereby putting a dampener on the demand-driven scheme for many ABPS implementation. The union government claims will ensure that payments are a quick reduce rejection and a plug all leaks. The government also contends content that as the ABPS has been in place for MGNREGS from 2017 and because other number availability is nearly universal in India and the ABPS is a robust and the safer way to transfer wages. However, the over Reliance on technical tools has resulted in problematic implementation with beneficiary devoid a devoid of proper resources for correction in the system. Data analyzed by LeapTech India suggests that the names of 7.6 crore workers have been deleted over the past 21 months due to discrepancies between the other and the job cards, among other reasons, with many of these done. Enormously. There are other issues with the use of the other based payments where errors in any, any step of the process result in payment failure apart from the spelling discrepancy issue between the other and the job card of the workers. There is also the problem of mapping the other to the wrong bank accounts for many in a number of cases a payment can be Diverted or to diverted to some other accounts uh, account than the other beneficiaries prefer, and uh, also without their consent, claims by the government uh, that other use has <coughs> reduced uh, delays in the wage payments have also not been borne out, according to LeapTech India, with wage delays large. Largely due to insufficient funds in the first place without cleaning up other shedding <coughs> and mapping with bank accounts making the ABPS mandatory will only create further issues. The union government must revisit this decision and work out a way to correct the faulty shedding and mapping problems before imposing ABPS. The Ministry of Rural Development had said that it may consider an exemption from ABPS on an on a case to case basis for our gram panchayats, if there are technical issues, but it would be better if the ministry conducts a social audits to ascertain the extent of the problem before insisting on ABPS MGNREGS remains a 
Vital demand driven welfare scheme that helps the rural poor and its implementation must not be dependent upon a faulty technological system. So friends, this is all for today and we will meet from tomorrow onwards with new news articles. So till then, keep studying. Thank you. Thanks a lot.